Okay, everybody, so I want to show you today how we can get you logged in and get Adobe Photoshop opened. So for seventh grade, Photoshop is going to be the first thing that we uh, are going to do our best to attempt to use. Um, there's my previous video showed you how to get into a number of different things. Um, but this video in particular, I just want to kind of focus on how to get into Photoshop. And, and there are, also, are several ways and, and we'll discuss those. So if probably the simplest way is if you go to launchpad.classlink.com forward slash seals, it's going to bring you to this class link page where you can then click sign in um, your username, which would be your year of graduation. Um, so for seventh grade would be 25. So 25 last name, first name is what you would put in here. Your password would be your school password. Mine's obviously a little different because I've graduated. Um, but in any case, if you click sign in, that will sign us into ClassLink, which brings us to a bunch of different resources. Um, in there, you can click the remote application. Now, that will actually take you to where Photoshop is located. It actually takes you to here. Um, and in remote application, the reason I have it go from here is because the the address is a little simpler to put in you could actually go directly to sorry directly to the remote app where you log in with your actual email address and the school password but i think if i just close that if i go to here and i go to remote application <clears throat> I go to remote application, you'll see that it is going to go ahead and log in. Takes you exactly to where I just had you before. You don't have to worry about putting this address in. Log in with your email address, which would be um, your year of graduation, last name, first name at seal-pa.org and your school password. And sorry, click sign in. So from here, there's a number of different programs that we have access to. The one I want you guys to access is Adobe Photoshop. Um, you can click don't ask me again for connections to this computer and just hit allow. Um, I'm going to keep it like this because I, I need to continue to demo that in my videos, but I'm just going to go ahead and click allow on my mouse keeps doing that. Um, and then what's going to happen very likely is as you log into Photoshop, it's probably going to request that you log in. I'm hoping that's what it's going to do on mine. Let's see. Uh, it does not. So um, that's interesting because it did this to me last time. So what's going to potentially happen here is it is going to ask you for your login. Your login again is going to be your email address. So 25 last name, first name at seal-pa.org and your password. The one hurdle that you're gonna have to jump through is when it asks you if you wanna log in as a school um, or an organization, you wanna choose the school option. And if an option comes up for an enterprise login, you wanna select that. And that should be able to get you in there um, so that you can open Photoshop um, so this, this instructional video is, is really just about getting Photoshop open, and this should get you to there. Now, there's a, another alternative that may work with your school laptops, or it may not. If you have a more robust computer at home, another option is that you can just go directly to Adobe. So if you just go to adobe.com and um, you search on there for Creative Cloud, um, Creative Cloud, you log into Creative Cloud with exactly the same login as your, your email address and your school password, and you can gain access to all of the different apps that Adobe has. So as you can see, there's Photoshop and Illustrator and Acrobat, Lightroom. Um, the ones that we're going to focus on in seventh grade are Photoshop. Uh, we are going to um, also play around with Premiere Pro which I'm not positive that that's going to run on your computers. So we're working on uh, an alternative and pretty much those. But honestly, you can download any of these um, for free. This is part of our software license agreement. So if you simply click install, it'll take a while for it to download. 
and um, it'll actually install so that you have a desk an actual application so you'll have an Adobe folder with Photoshop legitimately installed on your computer um, or with um, um, Acrobat or or Illustrator or whatever it may be the difference in this is that it's actually installed on your computer um, if you go up to here to remote desktop this is actually running remotely on a server um, you know somewhere else so I don't know exactly where the server is but it's it's somewhere in any case that should get you into Photoshop and um, if you actually uh, have some success with this just put a put a comment on our um, Google Classroom page and just let me know that it worked and if it's not working let us know too have a good day